Hey guys, welcome to Rosie's Dessert Spot. In this episode, I'll be teaching you how to create raspberry brownies. To begin, I have some raspberries in a saucepan. I'm going to put the heat on medium, medium high. I'm going to add about a tablespoon of sugar and just a touch of water. And using a wooden spoon, I'm just going to stir that through. And then we'll wait for this to come to a simmer. Just give them a bit of a stir. And as it heats up, all those raspberries will break apart into their individual seeds. And that's what we're looking for. I'm going to let it simmer until we can get rid of at least three quarters of that liquid. We just want those seeds and a little bit of that juice as well. I'll give it a stir in between. After about a good seven minutes, you can tell it's already been reduced to mostly seeds, a little bit of liquid. You can tell there. I'm going to set that aside to cool down and we can start on the rest of our ingredients. I've got my butter in my standing mixer and I'm going to put that on medium, low to medium speed. Gradually add in your caster sugar. Scoop down the sides and keep going. Add in your vanilla. eggs one at a time. Adding my second. I'm going to add in my coffee and my raspberries as well that I've just pulled off. And while my mixer is on low speed, I'm going to add in my chocolate as well, melted chocolate. Add in all of your dry ingredients. Just until incorporated. So I'm going to stop it just about there. I've got my brownie pan here that I've sprayed with some canola oil and I've laid on some parchment paper, some non-stick baking paper. Pour my brownie batter into my pan. And just start spreading that around. Bringing it right to the sides, making sure it's nice and even. I'm not too happy with that. You can bake it off for about 40 to 45 minutes at 180 degrees. Then halfway through baking, grab your brownie and Rotate it halfway just to make sure it doesn't burn and it cooks evenly. I'm going to insert a skewer into the middle of my brownie. And if it comes out clean with a couple of wet crumbs, that's okay, you know it's ready. Once your brownie has been cooling off in the pan for about 10 minutes, you can let it cool completely outside of the pan. Oh, that's me just until it's completely cooled down. While it's cooling, I'm also going to just start trimming off that excess. I have some white chocolate buttons and some regular cream. And I'm mixing that together. That's going to make our ganache. When you're using white chocolate, you'd only use a third of its weight in cream. So I have 150 of white chocolate, 50 grams of cream. Form that up in the microwave at 30 seconds. Stir it and then put it in for another 30 seconds. And just let that chocolate mount, just continue to stir until it's all melted in. Once it's all melted through, I'm taking a little bit of red gel food colour. And I'm not taking a lot at all, probably less than a drop. Onto my little spoon here. And I'm going to stir that through. I've made some dark chocolate ganache as well, and that ratio is one to half. So, and oh wow, I'm gonna pour that right over. Beautiful. Just let that fall to the edges. Just maneuver it to where you need it to go. 
And then I have a small piping bag that I've created. And I'm gonna put my chocolate ganache in there, the one that we dyed pink. And I'm just gonna mark the crusts. And you can take a skewer and just run it across and make that pretty pattern in your ganache. And then we'll set this in the freezer and come back to it when it's nice and hard. Won't take too long, maybe about 20 minutes. Next I have some chocolate, some regular white chocolate, and I've tinged it with the gel food colour. Just a little bit to make it a bit pinky. I'm going to use a spatula or something to thin out the chocolate. And I'm just using a cookie tray for this as well. So once it loses its glossiness, delicate as well so you can make them smaller if you like or you can break them into pieces. I've got my brownies here and they've been resting in the freezer for a good 20-25 minutes. I've got a sharp knife and I'm running it around the edge. It really helps if you run it under some hot water first. But... And I'm not a fan of the crust on a brownie so I always take off the edges anyway so if it gets messy, I don't really mind. And again, using your hot knife, just trim off the edge. I'm gonna start cutting mine into its slabs and I'm making little blocks of them. I'm not gonna make them too thick because it is a very rich dessert, so. A little goes a long way. Little brownie squares. Then to decorate, you can attach your little shards of chocolate that you cut before. You can put them randomly. And then of course, this is a raspberry brownie, so I'm going to add a raspberry onto each of those. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you next time.